So today I'll be talking about the domain of a quadratic function and a cubic function. So we'll start off with domain and range, sorry. So we'll start off with a simple quadratic function, y or f of x is equal to x squared. So that will basically be a nice parabola like this. So what is the domain? The domain is the possible, all possible x values, x values, and the range is all possible y values. So all possible y values. So let's look at the domain of this function. So all possible x values. So we see that this function, you know, goes, with, when you see these arrows, it shows that it just continues on and on and on and does not stop. So it goes, continues on this way, and it continues on this way. <coughs> so the possible x values, the domain of this function, domain, is equal to x is all real numbers. So x er is basically x is all real numbers, and all real numbers is positive and negative numbers. So what is the range? Well, the range is the all possible y values. So the y values cannot be negative because we see the minimum y value is 0, and it just continues on and on and on and on to infinity. So we see that the range is, we always write this, y is all real numbers, such that, well, this sign, this symbol, is a set of numbers. or just means set. So y is all real numbers such that, and now we state the restriction. We know that y must be positive numbers. In other words, y must be equal to or greater than 0, right? Because we see y can be equal to or greater than 0. So let's do a different, let's try a different We'll try a different one right now. So we'll just move it over here. So we'll we'll do the graph f of x is equal to x squared minus five. So this point here is negative five. So what is the domain? Well the domain is the same as before. It's because it continues on to infinity and on to infinity. So we know that the domain is, remember, domain is all possible x values. So we know that x is all real numbers. And the range is the all possible, well, the all possible y values of the function. So let's look. So we see that the minimum is negative 5, and it continues on and on and on. So we write again. y is all real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now, how about if in this function at negative 5 we had a circle, so we had a hole at negative 5. When you see a hole, that means at that point of the function the function does not equal that point. So say this is at negative 5 the hole the range will actually be y is all real numbers such that y is greater than negative 5 because y can't equal negative 5 because it's a hole at negative 5 but this is a filled in hole so it can equal negative 5 and you can also write the domain as for x uh, negative infinity to positive infinity and for range, you can write negative 5 to positive infinity. And we use the circular brackets, these brackets, because it includes 
negative 5 and includes positive infinity. But this one, we're going to write, when a function has a hole in it, you use the square brackets. So negative 5 to positive infinity is the range because it's in the square parentheses because it cannot equal negative 5 because there is a hole at negative 5. Now let's try something different. How about if the function is y equals f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 3. So it means this point will be positive 3 and the function will be negative x squared. What is the domain? So the domain stays the same. The domain is all possible x value. x is all real numbers in this function. Now let's look at the range. Now the range, we always start off by writing. Sorry, I have to put these in. y is all real numbers such that y is, well y can equal 3 but y just is sm always smaller than negative 3 because there's no function here, no function, no function. This function starts from 3, and as the y value decreases, there is the function, right? Because the arrows say that it continues on and on and on. It does not stop. So y must be smaller than or equal to 3. Now, if you had a hole here, that would mean y. If you had a hole, the domain range would be y all real numbers such that y is great smaller than 3 because there's a hole right when there's a hole the function cannot equal the value of where that hole is and we can write this range right here and just writing it as from 3 to negative infinity Alright, so now for a cubic function, so y equals x cubed, etc., the range and the domain is always, always, domain is always, x is all real numbers, and the range is always, y is all real numbers, because there is no restrictions. And this includes any other odd degree function, so x5, x6, I mean x7, x9. And the domain for and the domain for even degree functions like x squared, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 6 is always x is all real numbers, x e r. And the range is always starts off from the minimum point and continues on to negative infinity if it, the function is starts off with a negative in front of it or continues on to positive infinity the function has positive in front of it positive leading coefficient and remember for an even degree function we'll talk about that in another video the end behaviors all right thank you very much